Lab 6 is definitely the biggest live event we've held so far. February 9th, Super Bowl weekend. Power Stop is gonna be at the Durango Casino and Resort here in Las Vegas. It is going to be an amazing weekend. Oh my God. In this special episode of Road to the Title, I'm gonna announce the matchups for that night. This is the biggest live event that we have ever done with Power Slap. You do not want to miss this event. The fights are going to be incredible. In season two, Road to the Title, we started with 28 fighters, all competing for a spot at our next live event, Power Slap 6. Blue. In the end, we got a group of fighters that will make Power Slap 6, without a doubt, our best event yet. These guys all have a bright future in this growing sport. You guys ready? Yes, sir. Let's fucking go. Ah! Our first finalist is Hawaiian welterweight, Zach Zane. Aloha, guys. Zach came into the competition with a single purpose in mind, to win in honor of the people of his beloved Maui. You know, I, I fight for a lot, you know? I fight for all the people in Lahaina now, you know? From the Lahaina fires, you know? This is why, this is, this is why I do what I do, you know? That, that means a lot to me, if I could just bring joy to the people in Lahaina, because they need it, you know? And I'm gonna show everybody the Maui heart, the heart that we have over here. My career has been like a roller coaster, up and downs, you know, emotions, gone through depression. Yeah, I've gone through it all, you know, I've been through hell and back, and now it's led me to this. Let's go, Let's go baby! While he had some flinching issues, he made up for that. Maui! I call it! And heart and perseverance. You're already hit, brother. Fuck. Ah! Fuck! Whoa! Step it! He ended up getting the win in his first match against Federico Benedetelli yeah. after Federico was DQ'd due to back to back striking foul. Foul! Clubbing! Moving on. Red. But in the second round of the competition, Zach showed up more motivated than ever. Maui, baby, for Maui. And Maui, it's not over yet. And managed to eke out a razor-thin split decision win over Chris Debo. Not then. Zach grew stronger and stronger with each slap he took. <laughs> Zach. So I expect him to come into the live event full of confidence. His opponent will be none other than New York's own Cole Young, a former MMA fighter and kickboxer who has proven he has the power in the chin to be a threat in this division. was that shot? Cole Young! Cole's bringing a ton of experience to the stage after having faced some of the best welterweights in the sport. including two hard-fought decision losses to the current number two and number one contenders, Jewel Scott and Road to the Title Season 2 coach, Manny Muniz. This fight's going to be a bad-ass fight. The middleweight division was probably the most stacked this season, delivering three finalists for our live event. One of the fighters that impressed me the most was Missouri native Garrett Grimes. Grimes was one of only four fighters that earned a bye in round one. Oh, four. 
He impressed us with a massive knockout against Austin Wall and the early prelims of Power Slap 3. Nobody down here is worried about you. Just chill out. Come up to 205. Man. I will. I will. I will beat the fuck out of you. Let's see it. He made his presence known quickly when he joined the house in round two and immediately butted heads with light heavyweight finalist Garrett Blakesley in what I like to call the Battle of the Garrets. You ain't got no swing. You're soft as fuck. You're fat for 205. You ain't shit. Really? Yeah. You think really? You, like that you are not shit. What's up? Hey. Apparently, there wasn't enough room for two Garrets in the house, and these two almost eliminated themselves from the competition by fighting. So I, I guess in the future, can't put fighters with the same name in the house together. They just can't handle it. Grimes then secured his spot in the finale by taking out Estonian Special Forces prospect Merlis in a hard fought decision. Oh, the winner by a unanimous decision, Garrett. Ah. Let's fucking go, baby! Let's go! Garrett's opponent at Power Slap 6 will be none other than season one alum. Wesley Drain. Wesley, all the smoke drain. Wesley's been gaining a lot of momentum as of late with back to back first round knockouts of Power Slap 4. Oh! And Power Slap 5. Oh! Wesley, all the smoke. Propelling him to being ranked number two in the division. I'm expecting an incredible fight between these two with a lot of trash talk. Got this, baby. Fuck yeah, coach. Our next middleweight fight is actually a rematch featuring a fighter with one of the most proficient skill sets in the competition in Brandon the Butcher Bordeaux against Canadian Eddie Spaghetti Brahimer. Ah! me, I look at this as life or death. When I set my mind to something, I take it to the extreme. It isn't just a half in, half out type deal. I've seen it all, and uh, now it's time to go. Brandon and Eddie delivered one of my favorite fights of round one. It was a back and forth battle. The only difference being a second round foul by Eddie that catapulted Brandon into round two of the competition. Unanimous decision. Red. Let's go. I'm a little disappointed because I didn't win. We both have chins. I guess the judges thought his slaps were a little harder. I'm happy with how it went, but at the same time, I'm a little bit pissed off. Uh, I'm always going for the finish. The other middleweight should be concerned with the fact that they're not going to be able to knock me out. The stakes were high for Brandon, who had to leave his business and family back in Michigan to compete here in Vegas. I have four little ones at home. I have a six-year-old son named Lane. I have a five-year-old daughter named Lennox. And I have twin three-year-olds named Libby and LaRoe and then I have my fiance, Mallory. I'm always with my kids. I'm always with my fiance. We're always together. Let's go, baby. I'm the fucking best. In round two of the competition, he came through again, edging out Slappy Joe Landman to earn him a spot in the finale. Brandon was doing the more damage, and Brandon was eating him a lot better, just like, well, and brushing him off and going. Joe and Brandon, I knew it was going to be a tough fight. Joe, unfortunately, didn't come up with the win. But definitely proud of Joe. It was, it was a good fight for him. I'm always glad to get a win. But for myself, I hold myself to a high standard. So you know what I mean? I feel like I need to go out there and get the finish. So now that I'm in the finale, I'm going to go home, bust my ass. We're, we're going to work on pick up the power a little bit and uh, start putting some people down. Thanks, guys. Great Thanks, Dan. Great grass, buddy. Brandon's opponent in this rematch of Power Slap 6 is Canadian Eddie Brahimer. Let's go, Eddie. You know why you're here, bud. I fight for my family, my friends, everyone back home, and I fight for my fucking pride. Let's fucking go! Despite losing to Brandon in round one of the competition, Eddie impressed me enough to keep him around, and he proved me right, delivering a brutal knockout and an exciting bounce back win over Amir. Let's go! 
Amir was just talking all this shit. And yeah, I put him to sleep. Yeah, that's all that matters, man. I'm fucking ready for that belt, and I'm coming for it. Both of these guys have the power and the chins they need to be great fighters, and I'm excited to see them run it back at Power Slap 6. Would you like another? Hmm. Yeah, I think I would. Get 10 stickers for only $1 and slap some love on your laptop, water bottle, or best friend. All right, we're one up right now. We got this, brother. At light heavyweight, we're going to see our other Garrett, Ohio native Garrett Blakesley. Garrett had to endure a lot of hardships when he was young. Growing up, I dealt with losing my father around four years old of a motorcycle accident. My twin brother, unfortunately, he ended up dying of a car accident too. So after all that, I was just really down in the dumps. But he was able to overcome the loss of his father and twin brother, turn his life around, and now is determined to give his newborn daughter the life she deserves. <laughs> We're expecting a little one soon. This is this little Billy Blue Blake so... Right hand on three. One. Right work. Two. Right work. Garrett made a statement early on with his first round knockout against Ronald State. Then he secured his spot at Power Slap 6 with another vicious knockout when he dropped Cody in the second round. Garrett's opponent in the live event will be TJ Thomas. TJ hasn't competed since he made his debut in the prelims at Power Slap 1, delivering a massive one round knockout against Martin. The winner by knockout, TJ, the Gorilla Thomas. As it turns out, TJ and our other Garrett, Garrett Grimes, are friends and training partners. So in a sense, TJ will be looking to get revenge on Blakesley for the infamous Battle of the Garretts, the altercation at the house this season. This should be a fun one. Twenty-two-year-old Logan Grehall first fought at Power Slap Four. Oh, that's it! That's it! He knocked out his opponent Jonathan Correa, but was DQ'd for a stepping foul. Declaring the winner by disqualification, Jonathan. We decided to bring him on for season two, Road to the Title. As a guy who's had to overcome a lot of adversity in his life, he brought a toughness that helped him shine. I got put into foster care when I was a freshman in high school, so I bounced around from high school to high school. Being in foster care is definitely like one of the hardest things to do. They move you into like a boys' home or a group home, and you go to that school. Everyone judges you. They all look at you weird. They think you're like a super weird kid, but you just got to really prove them wrong. He had no problem defeating William in his first round fight. Whoa. One, two, three, four. Dropping him with a brutal slap in the first round. Hey, we're done. Let's fucking go! The lefty known as Kill Shot followed that up in his next fight against Delvin Hamlet as he clinched the win with a badass slap in the third round. Showing that he has the chin and the power to be a force in this sport. But he's going to have his hands full in the next fight as Road to the Title Season 1 vet Dwayne Crespo 
meets him on the stage. Right three. It's over. It's over. Do not get up. It's over. I'm a professional MMA fighter. I'm excited to showcase my power and honestly my chin. <laughs> the battle tested Iron Giant has been involved in some tough fights since leaving the house. He'll be looking for a rebound, having lost to Nate Bernard in his last fight at Power Slap 4. What's up, baby? Matchups make fights, and I can't wait to see these two badasses go head to head. Someone's got to lose, and someone's got to win in this one. Our final heavyweight bout features probably the most explosive fighter of the competition, Ryan Ellis. Oh, Jesus. When he faces off against seasoned power slap vet, Dorian Perez. We've got five kids. My oldest is my daughter. She just turned nine. Her name is Mila. Then I've got my son, Rocket. He's seven. I got a, my son, Tiger. He's six. My son, Jet, is six. And I, my son, Mega, is two. No, keep your head up and hit it with your arms. Oh, like this? Brian brings an impressive resume to the table with a powerful skill set that he honed while playing football at the University of Texas. Started playing football like Little League. Ended up getting a scholarship at the University of Texas. Ended up playing arena football, indoor football. I've had hits to the head, never been blacked out, never been knocked out. And I mean, I don't, I don't plan on getting to that point here either. Ellis started the competition with a bang. One. When he delivered a brutal knockout of Miles Jackson in round one. Oh. <laughs> Winner by disqualification due to a stepping foul, red corner. But was unfortunately disqualified for stepping. Despite that loss, I gave him a second chance in round two, but we asked him to step up and wait, and he did. <laughs> then he won by TKO with an all-out war against super heavyweight Evian Scott. That's Very up. impressive. All right, I've got TKO, winner, moving on, blue. Brian's power and chin will be put to the test at Power Slap 6 when he drops back down to heavyweight against Perez. Dorian is looking to build on his 5 and 1 record. Oh! Oh! Dorian disturbing the peace Perez. Which includes a huge win against season 1 coach Darius the Destroyer. Power. Oh. Disturbing the peace. And most recently over James Stonier at Power Slap 4. <laughs> Another badass matchup that I cannot wait to see. I'm gonna fuck you up! What? My house. Emmanuel No Love Moonies. Never beat knocked out. Oh, I'd love to knock out Chris. Put him to sleep. Oh! Chris and Manny absolutely hate each other. These two will face off in a badass championship fight. Welcome back to the fight capital of the world. Tonight we got a real. Oh, okay.
Okay. That's called a love slap. Really? Yeah. Would you like another? Hmm. Yeah, I think I would. Get 10 stickers for only $1 and slap some love on your laptop, water bottle, or best friend. Let's go, let's go. Let's go! Moving on to one of my favorite weight classes, the super heavyweights. Experienced South African martial artist Danny Van Heerden came into the house with big expectations and a powerful life story. My name is Daniel Van Heerden. 36 years of age, nice. engaged, five kids. Two boys, and the rest is girls. I'm a sibling of 13 kids, which are seven boys, six girls. My father got murdered in 2018. Oh, damn. It's on footage, on camera, on wow. YouTube. Back in South Africa, 2018, my dad actually got murdered. Eventually, five years later, the guy got convicted. And my dad always said, if you want something done, you need to do it yourself. So I actually started training again in the pro fighting, and yeah, we're back again. Family means a lot to me. I want to be their role model. I need to look after them. I need to keep them safe. That's why I can get out of South Africa. So if there's any opportunity coming, I'm enthusiast. So I'll try and do it all, and I'll make sure I'll make a success of it. I'm coming for you, super heavyweights. Danny made an impression right out of the gate by never wasting the chance to intimidate his opponents at every turn. They gave me the easy fight now. Let's see how easy it is. <laughs> You're only bigger than me if I bend down. Test now. You want some? Why you can still chew? <laughs> yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. The guy backed up his smack talk with dominating performances. First, an impressive victory over Jonathan Boone, and then a dominant knockout against Cody Vallow. There's no doubt Danny has the potential to be a real contender in the division. Winner by TKO. Blue. Danny's opponent at Power Slap 6 will be another super heavyweight who is impressive this season, Makini Manu. Makini's emotional journey makes him a fan favorite, and he is on a mission to better his family's life. Which grade are you in? Uh, this grade? Sixth grade. Sixth grade. Sixth grade. We have one son, and he's 11 years old with Down syndrome. His name is Wino Hia. It wasn't expected for him to have Down syndrome. And when it did happen, it was easy to come up with the name Wainohia, which means rare gift in Hawaiian. The challenges that came from it, it wasn't as hard as we thought. You know, they did say that the road was going to be rough, the road was going to be tough. But he actually is the happiest kid, the most uplifting, energetic kid that you know. He loves everything I do. He's my number one sports fan. My son motivates me to want to do better for him, to let him know that whatever obstacles in the way, he can always overcome it. Um, let him know that any opportunity that you get, seize the moment and make the most out of it. Despite the challenges, McKinney got a victory in round one as his opponent, Evian Scott, lost by disqualification. Winner by DQ. Due to two clubbing fouls, Manu. He came back to the stage with something to prove and did not disappoint. And his corner stoppage win against fellow sumo wrestler Hayden Southall. Uh, we have a quarter stoppage, therefore the winner by TKO, Blue. Oh, I must it, must it go! Oh, I must it, must it go! Oh, I'm fine! 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 Bikini is the perfect opponent to go up against Danny. This should be one of the most entertaining fights of the night. One of the special additions to Power Slap 6 is gonna be former heavyweight Delvin Hamlet dropping down to light heavyweight to face hard-hitting Vern Cathy. Believe in yourself, you got this. Ready? Fighters ready? Okay, sir. What hand and what count? 
Uh, right on three. Right on three. Oh, Delvin brings an impressive athletic background to the table. I've been champion rugby, champion street beef. Now it's power slap. That's, that's the next one. I, ain't, I got that off my bucket list. And he showed his power with an amazing knockout of Jonathan Correa. Yes, sir. Wait on me. Shit. We outside. Give some water. This is a fucking gorgeous hit, dude. Mm -hmm. The feet were perfect on that one, too. He's going to be looking to rebound from a close loss in round two, where he went blow for blow for three rounds with Logan Greenhall. <laughs> Delvin's massive power should make waves at a lower weight, but he will immediately be put to the test against Vern Cathy. Vern's season one knockout of Amir is still, to this day, one of the most vicious knockouts you will ever see in any combat sport. Oh my God. Holy oh fucking holy shit. shit. Vern was one of the most promising competitors to come out of season one. Stop talking and go to bed. Do you understand me? Despite a couple of tough back-to-back -to -back losses at live events, Vern is coming off a big round one knockout against Bear Bennett at Power Slap 5. He's going to go right on three. He gets the first slap. He won the coin major. toss. One. Let's see what he's got. Two. Here we go. <laughs> And he's looking to climb back up the rankings in the light heavyweight division. I am fired up to see these two square off at Power Slap 6. Team no more, baby. Two other exciting fights will also be on the card. Robert Trujillo will be facing Dallas Mayer in the lightweight matchup. And road to the title season one's Ryan Phillips will be taking on number one heavyweight contender, Nate Bernard. It's going to be one of the best cards that we've ever put on. That brings us to what is sure to be one of the most anticipated fights in Power Slap history. The main event title fight between number one welterweight contender Manny Muniz and undefeated champion KO Chris Thomas. I'm gonna know that I'm gonna eat you all day, baby. I know I got it. Let's see if you got it, buddy. Bro, I know I got it. We'll see. Chris Thomas is without a doubt the most dominant fighter in all of Power Slap. Having delivered massive knockouts against every opponent that has stood in front of him. Done. Number one welterweight in the world, baby. But if there is anyone who can take it, it's Manny. He's out. Holy fucking shit. He's out. Manny is riding back-to-back -back wins in the welterweight division, and he has one of the best chins in the entire sport. In six fights, this guy has never been knocked down. Not one single time, which is absolutely incredible. Manny and Chris hate each other, and it showed throughout Road to the Title Season 2. Okay, Come right on, let's here. go. Who gives a fuck? Ain't no scared of You'll get your touch. Come on. Let's go. Oh, hey, you better chill out. You better chill out. You better chill out. Let's get it. You're, you're asking for it, up. Chris. You're asking for it. I'm asking for what? Get it, then. You fucking pull your ass back. Yeah, shit's light. Ain't that shit on their chin, bro. You're light. You're light. You're light, Chris. 
Sorry, yeah. Uh, that guy's crazy. Try that shit harder. You better come in. You wanna bully me on camera? You wanna bully me, bitch? I'm outside. You wanna bully me, bitch? Whoa. Different energy, you fucking hoe. You stupid curly haired. You know, me and Chris got a match coming up soon. So I got your little present. We just want you to be at your very best. It's from everyone over here, bud. I brought in a gift for uh, Chris Thomas. Um, you know, I've kind of been saying all season long that he's not very uh, intelligent, not very coherent. So I uh, brought him a couple things to help him out today. Hell yeah, bro. Make sure you show it off to everybody. You know, coloring book, you know, pre-K uh, school book, and uh, a little bedtime story for him. Yeah, thank you, bro. This bully type shit, you know, it set my mind off right away. Hey, bullies never make yeah. it, do they? Do they? Do they? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we will see. Don't get too excited we now. See. We'll have our time. Don't worry. <laughs> if you breathe the wrong way, you're in Chris's head. That guy's all over the place, so I for sure got it in his head. Let me know if you need some crowns, Chris. I'll get you some, too. Guess what, Manny? You're going to fucking lose like it knocked the fuck out, bro. These two guys are coming in focused, motivated, and I am expecting a war. This will be a badass title fight, the biggest, most incredible event that we have ever done, Power Slap 6. Finally, after a pressure-packed competition full of vicious knockouts and pulse-pounding drama, it's all come down to this. The power is on! On Friday, February 9th, live from the sold-out Durango Casino and Resort in Las Vegas during Super Bowl weekend, it's Power Slap 6. Nine warriors survive the road to the title gauntlet, earn their spot, and will take to the stage in the most exciting event yet. Each looking to continue their quest for ultimate glory. Come on. Then, Let's go. in the main event, the coaches take their heated rivalry to center stage. I know I got All it. Day. Let's see if you got it, buddy. KO Chris Thomas puts his welterweight belt on the line as he faces Manny No Love Muniz. It all goes down at Power Slap 6, Friday, February 9th, live from the Durango Casino and Resort in Las Vegas, only on Rumble. Fight. 